As you might imagine, a lot of voicemails, so let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Hi, right, this is Rico. I'm utterly disgusted with the fans cheering and high-fiving for Watson's devastating injury. My fear is that players won't want to come here nor stay here after seeing that. In regards to the game, same old, same old. Penalties, can't score 20 points. O-line getting beat like a drum. Defense played okay, but gave up chunk plays once again. I mean, this is downright awful. I mean, now the sole focus is on the coach slash offensive coordinator, Stefanski. There is no one left to blame but him. Oh, and Andrew Barry needs to be held accountable for this mess as well. I have no words. It makes me want to freaking cry. Thanks, David. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Uh, yeah, I, and again, Lance, you know I'm a pretty staunch supporter of Barry and Stefanski. Um, I, I don't want to see the dysfunction. You know, you fire him and you start all over again. That's, that's how you get into the troubles this franchise has had since 99. But when you have a, 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 a season like this, you're searching for answers, and there just aren't any. Well, you know, losing losing at that level is, is unacceptable, and that's kind of what it comes down to. And they, everybody can say anything about off the field and on the field and all that kind of stuff. It comes down to winning, and if you don't win, uh, things got to happen in people's minds. And I'm with you. I don't think starting over is the way to go. I continue, There has to be something with continuity. Did they make some mistakes on who they uh, drafted and who they picked up? Absolutely. Uh, but some of these guys haven't played to the level. And is that coaching? Is that them? Uh, there's a lot of issues, but I think it. I think it really tells you that. Everybody has their hand in this mess right now, uh, from who's playing to how they're being coached, uh, the offensive line, the run game. So, again, if you go with the idea of everybody has their hand in this, then everybody can kind of take ownership of their blame and move forward. I don't think uh, these guys are denying that stuff is wrong. They have to figure out a way to get guys to buy into what they're doing. And, you know, when you talk about the booing, the big thing for me with the booing, and, and obviously I, I, I thought it was um, – unacceptable but what it does now is now it's it's kind of you've created that fans versus the players right and obviously it you the players who are upset they have a right to be upset but they now have linked the majority of fans who don't feel that way and we're very concerned about watson they've linked them into that boat now too so now you got this players versus coaches which is what you don't want either because players are going to mis make mistakes and coaches are going to make mistakes and now you're going to hear these boo birds all the time this is going to be a real tough hole to dig out of for for everybody um, and, and there's no way else you, they got to win. And, and I'm not sure that's going to be uh, very possible moving forward with the schedule they have and, and the dysfunction that they have right now.